Bitcoin. June 1st, 2013 at 10.49 p.m. Eastern Africa time in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I've got micro capital and I'm doing a no doc loan. I hope this isn't mirror lending. Here are today's bad bits. The EFF receives $95,000 donation in Bitcoin. It's a bit of a long, drawn out and complicated story, but back before Bitcoin went huge, Gavin Andresen, lead developer of the Bitcoin project, all around geek, tried to donate 726 Bitcoins to the EFF, which the EFF accepted, but later decided not to because they didn't understand the legal issues with launching a new currency. And as to not mislead their donors, because what if they couldn't spend the Bitcoins they were donated? Their donors would get no value, no bang for their buck, digital or otherwise. And three, the EFF didn't want their acceptance of Bitcoin to be seen as an endorsement of Bitcoin. Well, I guess that's all over now because the EFF accepts Bitcoin now. I guess Bitcoin must not be a new currency. I guess that Bitcoin must not mislead donors. I guess that the EFF, while not endorsing Bitcoin, accepts Bitcoin. And that's pretty nice. Bitcoin will continue to function beyond the reach of governments and laws. Law enforcement caught up with money laundering hub Liberty Reserve, but will struggle with decentralized online currencies. The Guardian writes, when talking about virtual currency Bitcoin, a currency not backed by any nation state, instead a series of mathematical rules, coverage tends to focus on either the surging value of each coin or the fact that Bitcoins are quite a handy way to buy drugs online. While both are of interest, it's roughly akin to discussing how the airplane might disrupt the hot air balloon industry. Sure, it's true, but it drastically misses the potential of an innovation to change the world for good or for ill. The real transformational power of Bitcoin, or something like it, lies not in speculative bubbles, but in its potential to put currency outside of control of governments or law enforcement agencies. More on that later. Ha ha ha. Why I invested in Bitcoin. Bloomberg writes, the current price of Bitcoin is around 130. What if Bitcoin were to replace gold as the world's reserve currency? Well, the value of all the gold in the world is roughly $8 trillion. Then the upper bound of each Bitcoin, if it replaced gold, would be almost $400,000 of Bitcoin. That's $8 trillion or 21 million Bitcoins. And if Bitcoin grows into something bigger, a useful reserve currency, then watch out because the value could far exceed $400,000 a coin. I've told my friends that it's entirely rational to allocate 1% of your assets to Bitcoin. I have, call it schmuck insurance. There's a famous scene in the Matrix where Morpheus asks Neo if he wants to take the blue pill or the red pill. Bitcoin is like a red pill. It will reallocate financial strength and power to the people versus keeping it within a few centralized authorities. The world needs more red pills. Bitcoin will prevail. Gas stations should accept Bitcoin. This has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins? Mad Bitcoins? Mad Bitcoins.